All right, so with this uh, directional spray, we've hit all the major highlights of the area. Um, the miniatures, uh, see you've got, we've hit the back of his heel, we've hit the top of his arm, the top of his head. These are all the ideal places where you want to get. And if you look just under his arm, it's still kind of shiny which is great because that's the effect that we're going for. You just see just under here, we're starting to get the effect coming through and on his neck as well. So the next step here is what we're going to do is we're going to grab our Ogren flesh and we're going to coat the whole miniature in it. It's straight out of the pot. I'm using here, this is just a uh, um, a P3 base coat brush. It's a relatively old one now. Just a, it's a good, uh, good brush for a good liberal coat. Now, what you want to do is you want to put it quite liberally on the miniature, like so. You can kind of ignore the um, the clothes and all that kind of stuff because we're going to be painting that, painting over that layer. So, no big deal. Quite hard to do with this camera at an awkward angle. But you get the idea. So we're just covering the whole thing in auger flesh. No special techniques, no fancy tricks, just whack it on. Doing the legs, feet, back of the leg. Places where it's pulled a bit too much, you just clean your brush off a little and just kind of poke it in the places where it's a bit pulled, and your and your brush will draw that out. Excellent. So what we have now is we covering this organ flesh and as you can see he's really shiny but don't worry about that he's going to dry off um, and he's looking pretty good this is the skin tone that we want for our our zombies we want our realistic looking zombies and it takes no time at all so once this is dry like I say the, the, the drying process is the longest process um, the longest aspect of this technique I should say um, is waiting for stuff to dry. Which is why you want to do this in bulk, because by the time your first one's done, or sorry, by the time your last one's done, your first one will be dry, so you can just keep going round. I did uh, these 20 at a time in, in an afternoon, a couple of hours. Um, and that was me taking my time and doing this technique for the first time. My second batch took much, much quicker. I've actually noticed a bit I've missed on his leg there. Excellent. So we'll wait for this guy to dry and I'll show you the next technique. Okay, back in the painting room again. Uh, the spraying room again, I should say. Um, right, I'm sort of, uh, it's starting to get a little bit dark, so sort of the uh, vision is somewhat impaired, but We've got our, our, our guy, and his uh, organ of flesh is dry. And now, when lo looking at the miniature as, as it is at the moment, I'm thinking, right, is, uh, his flesh is, is good, but it, it's not quite as sort of pinky as I'd like it to be. Um, you want them to stand out a little bit more. When you're doing loads of these, um, this step, you can actually do them in rank. Just put them in rank, um, or maybe just, just a little bit out of rank. Um, you know, maybe just half an inch or so apart and spray from a really long distance you want to be really really subtle with this technique otherwise you're just going to undercoat your mini again right so the basic idea is from the same light source we chose the last time we've got skull white spray this time for those of you that are wondering what the hell is the skull white for if you're undercoating in black this is what it's for we're just going to do we test the spray here okay we're just going to from really far away you see how far away i am 
This is about a foot and a half, two foot away. A little bit on the back. There we go. We're just giving him another quick little white highlight. That's going to make him look really pale, but he's a zombie. He's supposed to look pale. Well, well, uh, well I'll know, show you the next te technique after this. If you've got loads of them, they're all blue tight, this guy's blue tight, thankfully. If you've got loads of them, you just kind of stand here and go like that, just over the whole lot of them, and then again, just until you've got it. Um, but for one guy, he's alright, so he's, he's looking a little better now. So, now back to the paint room. Right, so we've got our uh, our guy back. He's got his uh, little highlight, and um, it is getting started to get dark. So we'll um, you know, speed along a little bit. We we want to get our ogre and flesh again. Not too much this time, and just give it a little another little coat on the white we've just done. That will um, make him look a little bit more pinky and a little bit more pale to represent well the fact he's dead or undead I should say and I'm just giving this a, a nice light coat not too light obviously, we want it still to kinda of pull um, just to make his flesh look a little bit more realistic Okay, and there's this other coat. Again, looking a little bit shiny. With the Arnie baby oil going on, but you know. But once he dries up, he will be fine. Alright, when that's dry, the next step would be to get your US field drab or your, your cloth colour, whatever whatever colour you've chosen for your cloth. And there's actually one paint I missed out, I left it at work. It is uh, Devlin Mud. Devlin Mud, good old Devlin Mud. Um, I've, l I've left it in the shop. Oh, the, the idea of getting this done sort of quickly means that you can just do one coat with this and then Devlin Mud over the top and then you're done. Uh, pretty much. Uh, you can then go over with a khaki highlight, which is what I, t I tend to do, is go over with a, a, light, a slightly lighter colour um, to to make it stand out a little bit more, but I'm just covering his dignity with uh, a little bit of yes, yeah, fuel drip. Just purely base coating. Because the idea is to get them done pretty quickly. And remember, if you're going to have 300 of them, you want them to, the, the idea is to make them to look good is to make them look uniform so you don't want to go too heavy on the highlighting similar with your little flames of war men uh, your infantrymen you don't want them to be too highlighted but a little bit of highlighting will just make them pop that little bit more so there's our US fuel drab painted on there give this a little Highlight in a while. 